a heart alert, a health alert this morning for everyone watching. After a new study in the Journal of American Medical Association found that 90% of U.S. adults are at risk for developing heart disease, let's bring in News Nation medical contributor and board certified cardiologist, Dr. Dave Montgomery, to weigh in. Dr. Dave, good morning. Good morning to you, Nick. Hey, Dr. Dave, I have to tell you that I personally take heart health seriously because heart disease is rampant in my own family. Can you break down what this study means for the average person and how concerned each of us should be? Yeah, Nick, you know, this is a this is a new way of looking at a very old problem. I think most people watching will know that heart disease is far and away the number one killer. And you have to ask the question why, especially because we know how to prevent it. And one of the reasons this study is pointing out is that we're not identifying people with risk early enough and then doing something about it. So this framework says, let's put a new lens on this problem and have both physicians, primary care physicians uh, specifically, but not exclusively, and patients understand the, the risks that lead to heart disease and try to uh, do something about it sooner. That's what this is about. Dr. Dave, when we talk about those risks, it looks like that study pointed out that a quarter of the group uh, people were listed as stage one were increased of developing heart disease because of being obese or overweight. How much of a factor is that? Yeah, it's a, it's a big factor and it's a big factor across ages. I was looking at this in our six to 11 year olds there is a 20% risk of obesity. Now that has changed over time, partly because of the quality of our food source, the, the, the density of the foods that we eat, and then the lack of exercise. But obesity is the central theme. It's the marker of disease inside the body. It's not just a beauty contest. What we know in science is that it is a marker of disease. And this is what we think is sort of increasing these, uh, the risk for heart disease. Now, one of the co-authors of that study said that he was surprised that the percentage was as high as 90%. Why is that number so high? That, that's exactly right. So 90%, I think it does sort of uh, surprise a lot of people to hear that only 10% of Americans don't have a risk uh, when it comes to these uh, these factors. And I think the factors, we zoom all the way in on these factors. That's what this study is really showing. It's saying when we don't take a, a very close look at these risk factors, look, for example, as the obesity and pre-diabetes, sometimes physicians don't act when we see early signs of insulin resistance or pre-diabetes. Sometimes we don't act when we see the cholesterol just a little bit up. And what this is showing us is we've got to act sooner to get lifestyle changes as the number one way to improve improve people's risks for heart disease. And that's where I want to close out with you, Dr. Dave, in less than a minute. What are some realistic lifestyle changes Americans can adopt to reduce their risk and improve their quality of life? Because we've all heard it before, move more, eat less, but people aren't doing it because the study is telling us that. Yeah, well, the truth of the matter is our lives uh, depend on it. Um, and our lives depend on us doing exactly what you said, but I want folks to add something to that recipe. I want you to go and hire a primary care physician if you don't have one, and if you do have one, go see it. A third of Americans report that they don't have it. That's 100 million people don't have a primary care doctor. You can see there are some conditions that you can't feel, right? And so you see how 100 million people not being able to detect these early risk factors is contributing to disease. Yes, you've got to exercise, but exercise according to your health profile. Number three, I think eat more plants. Eat, I didn't say don't eat meat. I just said <laughs> eat more plants, eat more fresh fruit, more vegetables in your diet. And then here's the last one, sleep go to sleep. You should be trying to get seven to eight hours of sleep. It is important for your health and cardiovascular disease. Dr. Dave, I have to tell you, though, in my mind's eye, your fridge is like fruits, vegetables, and nothing good, like no pizza, no occasional french fry. Yeah, well, you forgot the potato chips, but yes, <laughs> in, other words, uh, in, in other ways, it is quite good. Dr. <laughs> my Dave wife makes Montgomery, sure thank you so much for all the tips this morning. Sir, have a good Monday. Nice to see you, Nick. Thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.